Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. And with your bread of life, that's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. Father to joy, from your spirit to my spirit. I As you come in, please share, life. tag, and invite. Morning, Sister Denise. Bless morning. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Say, Father, to joy. Father, to joy. Spirit to spirit. Nothing by your word. And we do your prayer alive. As you come on, just begin to worship the Lord this morning. Give him thanks. Oh, acknowledge the Holy Spirit this morning. For he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Mm. He is Abba the Father. Oh, and because he breathed on us and in us, we can live and we have life. Amen. Oh, just breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Yes, Lord. I, whatever you need the Lord to do for you this morning, just Lord, just simply breathe on me, Lord. Breathe his name on me. He is I am that I am. Whatever it is that you need him to be, that is who he is. My beautiful wife, Pastor Yvette. God bless you, woman of God. Oh, that's how we change our world. Because the Lord breathes on us. Oh, father to child. How many of you know that you're his child? And there's nothing that the Father withholds from those who walk upright in his son. Yes, Lord. Oh, he is the commander. Oh, he is Yahweh. He is Master. He is Jehovah. He is Adonai. He is God. Oh, we worship you this morning, Lord. We thank you this morning, Father God. Life, there's a fresh wind.
Just declare it this morning. Just tell them to breathe on me, Lord. Breathe on me. Oh, because the breath of life is in me. I have to live. Oh, it is because he breathed in me and on me that I live. That I have purpose. That I survive it. Amen. Begin to come on in, just begin to share and tag and like. Oh Lord, we thank you this morning, Father, for who you are. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading us and guiding us. We thank you for filling us this morning. Oh, yes, God, we fellowship this morning. Yes, because he is our brother father. Blessed morning, Bishop. God bless you, great man of God. Thank you for joining this morning. Yes, because he breathed in us this morning that we have life. Mm, simply breathe this morning, breathe this morning, breathe this morning. Oh, because the Lord breathed on you this morning. He breathed in you this morning. You can conquer your day. You can go out to do just what he has called you to do. this morning. Thank you all for coming on. Thank you for joining us. The morning encouragement. Mm, I'm just grateful this morning to be in the presence of the people of God this morning. I, I, I just thank you all for coming on just to hear what the Lord is saying. I pray that you all have had a wonderful weekend and having a great new year so far because we have crossed over into a new land a, a new time a new period where god is doing still something great amen so we have to keep in our mind that we have to see what all that god has promised us he said that he promised us a land flowing with milk and honey. Amen. So I just thank you this morning for joining. I'm not going to be on here long. Um, this past Sunday, I gave a message about because God breathed. And for those who didn't get a chance to hear that message, I'm not going to go verbatim of what the message was about. But it simply talks about because God breathed in us and on us that we can live amen and we can do everything that god has called us to do there is purpose in you 
How many of you know that this morning? That there is purpose in you. Because the Father's plans for your life have to be fulfilled. Amen. So we want to make sure that we stay in a posture where we can hear from God. Amen. That's why it's important for us to, to stay in his presence, to stay at his feet. To open up our ears to hear. To listen. To move when he says move. Amen. 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 Genesis 1 and 2 says, The earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Genesis 2 and 7 says, then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. My God, my God. When I tell you, when the Lord gave me this message, I'm like, Lord. And this is something that, um, I, as I explained last week, uh, of a portion of this message that the Lord Gave me this sometime last year, and I just had it in my notes, and I just had to go back and 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 refer to it, and just start looking up different things, and what the Lord was saying to me, and and just begin to just write it down. It was just simply He was just saying that you know because He breathed in us and we, He He breathed on us that we are an extension of Him. We are. The branch, Zechariah 3 and 8 says, Hear now, O Joshua, the high priest, thou and the fellows that sits before thee, for they are men wondered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch. How many of you serving God this morning? How many know that you are the branch? The, the scripture says that he is the vine and you are the branch. You are an extension of who he is. Amen. So there is purpose for you. There is there is work for you. You are a disciple. Amen. So I just thank the Lord for this message. And then when he gave it to me, it just blew my mind. And this is what put the icing on the cake. And he took me to John chapter 20. Verses 19 to 22, and it says, On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Mm, how many of you are seeking peace this morning? And it says, after he said this, he showed them his hands and side. This is after he has been resurrected because he lives. Amen. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Mm, that's how we have to be. We have to be overjoyed when we get in the presence of the Lord because it is marvelous. Verse 21 says, again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, this is verse 22. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. I don't know about you, but right there, I just begin to shout and, and I just begin to, you know, just thank the Father for making me an extension of him that I can go out and do the work of the Lord. I can go out and be a fisher of men, a disciple for Christ. Amen. And, I, and the message went on to talk about how, you know, the olive tree and, you know, it's a plant that is what it is a plant that symbolizes longevity, perseverance, peace, healthiness, growth, and lots more. It has the ability to survive in droughts, 
and it can germinate in soils that may look unfavorable for normal plants. Did you, did you catch that this morning? It has the ability to survive in droughts and it can even germinate in soils that may look unfavorable. Some of us may have been in places that look unfavorable. You may been in a drought, a season in your life, but just know because God breathed in you and on you, you got the ability to live in that thing. You have the ability to conquer that thing. Amen. Because you are an extension of him. You, we hear the expression, um, we extend an olive branch as a peace offering. You, you are an extension of God. You extend his peace. Whatever he has called you to do, you can do it. It says the olive plant required a well-drained soil and a sunny position. You got to stay in position, people of God. You got to stay in position, a sunny position. No matter how it may look, you need to stay in the sunny position. Stay before the sun, stay before the father. Avoid sites where water stands. You don't want to be stagnant. You don't just want to be standing still. You want to be doing the work. You want to be putting in the work for God. And it says here that it needs regular water to thrive. You, so you got to water it regularly. Three. The Lord says that he will give you water when you thirst. He is the living water. And we know that the branch was first mentioned when the flood came and Noah sent the dove out and the dove came back with an olive branch in its beak carrying life. It was the first form of life that was found to let them know that there was land. There was that there, there was a new beginning. There was a, a a new earth. We have crossed over into the new people of God. You carry something on the inside of you that resembles life. Because he breathed in you and on you, you can you live. You can conquer whatever it is that you need to conquer this morning. Every opposition that can come up against you. You can conquer that this morning. And we know, and, and, and this is the good part. It says, because the olive tree is when pollinated, meaning that the pollination is the process when pollen grains from the male part, which is called the anther of the flower, is transferred to the female part, which is the stigma of another flower. Pollen, it, it is pollinated through the wind. It, rep it reproduces by the wind. And we know that the wind that we breathe in, we know that the wind that who controls the wind, it is our father, God. And when I tell you, it just simply blew my mind to, to find out that a plant can grow simply because of the wind. Because he breathed, y'all. Because God breathed, well, you can grow. We grow, we live, we can conquer, we can reproduce. Father is strategic in everything that he does. When, I, when the Lord gave me this message, it just, it, it simply blessed me when I revisited it to, 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 to study and to, to, you know, just to reflect on some things. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. You got to tell yourself that I'm a seed. I'm strategically made for to reproduce. It is in my DNA that I must reproduce much fruit because the Lord breathed in us and gave us life every day. He is breathing on us to reproduce. There's work for you to do. 
There's people out there for you to go minister to. This is the time that we should not take it lightly. And we know that the olive tree produces olives and the olives are used for many different supplies. It, it, it supplies vitamin E for you know healthy skin. It, it provides oil. It, it even ha That's what they use for lamps, to light the lamps. And we know that we use the olive oil as a point of contact. Everything that the Lord does is strategic. And this right here, it says the olive tree, their wood is strong. And it resists both rot and sickness. My God, my God, that's one tree that cannot get sick. And will not rot. And the Lord considers us to be an olive tree. Mm. I don't know about y'all, but this word, it, it just blessed me when I heard it. And I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm not going to be on here before you long. And I, you know, because I know it's Tuesday. Everybody's getting back into the, the swing of things at work, those who have been on vacation. But this word simply just, I pray that this word is a blessing to you this morning. Just know that over your head, God has placed a crown that he will help you to carry. He will help you to wear it. Don't you know God created you on purpose? God has a plan for you. I know that life can throw many things at you, work, children, family, health issues, bills, that it can seem like you are just living to pay bills and take care of your responsibilities. But you are created for more than just bills and work. You have a purpose. You have a God-given date with destiny and it is your responsibility to unlock your purpose It is your responsibility to unlock your purpose. Begin each day saying yes to God. That's, that's the step one. That's the step one. Saying yes to God is by far the single most important thing that you want to remember today. You must say yes to God's plans and even when you don't fully understand them, or think that you are good enough, because that's what that's what happens. We don't think that we're good enough. But I found when I began just saying to God, God, I am available to you. And when I tell you, God, I hear you calling me to do something great. But I don't know how long I'm going to make it. How I'm going to make it, excuse me. So I put my trust and faith in you. We have to trust in the Lord. We have to put our faith in the Lord. Knowing that he will fulfill just every promise. Because his promises are yes and amen. When you are available and trust that God will do what, he can, what we can't do. The possibilities are limitless. God will take you. Higher and further. Step two. God gives you the power to, per to persevere. The most important thing I've learned that separates success pe successful people from unsuccessful people is perseverance. You got to persevere. You got to push through. You got to be consistent. You got to want it. Successful people never give up. They may rest, but they don't quit. They may go back to the drawing board, but they don't quit. If it don't work the first time, they do it again. Just like when Jesus told the disciples to cast your nets again. 
They had to go on the other side. Do it again. It says in the word that we need faith and endurance to achieve the prize to which we are called in. That's 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Never give up. Never give up. Giving up is not an option. The Lord never gave up on you. may took you a while to get where you need to be, but you're there. You're here. So don't give up. Don't give up. Just talk to God. Let him know where you are, what you are in need of. Because he definitely will send you the help that you need to get through. Amen. I just pray and I just thank you all for coming on this morning. Uh, for those of you who have tagged, I, we most appreciate you for sharing the live this morning. Um, it's, it's, I wasn't going to be on here long. just wanted to come on and give it to you as God gave it to me. And I pray that the word was a blessing to you. And we're just excited for what God is getting ready to do in this new year. And what he's already begun doing that we've crossed over into and knowing that we are getting ready to experience some, some, some great mighty things. We have to have expectation. We have to have an expectation. We have to have an expectation. And I'm just, I'm just grateful this morning. I'm just grateful. And before we leave, you know, we got to say our morning encouragements this morning, our sayings this morning. And I do thank Sister Denise for posting them inside the, on the live. Him, who's him? He is molding me. Pray, we pray, we prioritize righteousness around you. We're hashtag addicted to Jesus. S2P, your soul to prosper. We be about that Jesus life. We stay ready so we don't have to get ready. We chucking up the deuces to Satan, telling him he got to go. He got to pack his bags. We ain't scared. We're B-A-D. We're blessed and delivered. We're rocking with the best. J-E-S-U-S. -S. They play checkers. We play chess. Because we're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Amen. We have to be strategic in this season, Lord. I mean, people of God. We live a life of prosperity. We are restored. It's time to tighten up. It's time to tighten up. Pump your brakes. Slow down. Don't stop. Don't give up. But just pump your brakes and, and, and know that the Lord is working everything out on your behalf. But you got to put in the work. Faith without works is dead. Use me, Lord, for your glory. You cannot be healed from what you not, do not reveal. You are what you answer to, and you shouldn't be answering to anything other than you are the child of God. You are an heir to the throne. You have purpose. We pray together. We praise together. We kingdom for life. We don't say it. We just pray it. Don't compromise who or what you are in Christ for anything or anyone. It's not worth it. Be faithful. Be faithful. God's going to bring you out without a doubt. Trust God when you cannot trace him. We will not bow to anyone or anything but Jesus. We will get over. We will get over. We have crossed over. Amen. We're going to keep continue to push through. Amen. We're not living in a pandemic. We're living in the shift. It's time to shift, people of God. You have to shift. We have to shift. You have to shift. You have to persevere. You have to move some things out of the way to get to where you need to be. Amen. Stay in your lane. Be worshipers. Free worshipers. You cannot evangelize and antagonize at the same time. Okay. We kingdom, baby. We're kingdom for life. We walk in a kingdom mentality. We walk in kingdom prosperity. We are disciples. We're going out 
to be because she's a man. Just know that because he breathed, you can live. You live. You're here today. There's purpose for you. There's destiny for you. You just have to get up and go get it. I pray you all be blessed in the name of the Lord. May his face to shine upon you. And all things that you do shall prosper. Because you are victorious. Be blessed everyone. Have a wonderful and thankful Tuesday. And until we see you again. Go with God and God will certainly go with you. Amen. Be blessed. Love you all.